then she picked up some cookies that we're all gonna try. Mm. Your mouth is burning? Dude, I saw my hand Wait, that was jacked up. What's up, YouTube? And check this out. We have the whole crew. We have the turtle. We have Big Dog. We have Whack Ace. We have Whack Aubrey. We have Whack Taylor. So guys, <laughs> welcome to the channel. <laughs> and we have my nephew Alan. He's been here all day grinding it out. Before we get to this vlog, and I show you guys the most expensive clutch we have now that replaced the other expensive clutch. And I'm using expensive clutch also because um, it's good for the title more. Is that all we have? More views we'll and stuff like that, yeah. But no, but for real, um, big shout out to Todd from Unbelievable. Um, he met up with my brother off the Costa Mesta show and you know, he hooked us up with the shirt. Dude, awesome shirt. Guys, please do me a big favor and go give this guy a follow. I'm gonna put his information in the description down below. And big shout out to Hannah because she made me a little sculpture and she baked us some cookies that we're all gonna try. Jesse had some already. He said they were really delicious. So I am really excited for all of us to try some of these cookies. So let's get the cookies. Oh, you just have them in your pocket. Sweet. Yeah. All right, open them up and let's get some pieces going. Everyone get a little piece and we're all going to try them together. Thank you, Hannah, for the cookies. Thank you. Yeah, can thank everyone you, say Hannah. thank you, Hannah? Thanks, thank Hannah. Thanks, Hannah. Do you want me to open the other bag? <laughs> you can hold that. Oh, and say please. thank you, Todd. Thank, thank you, Todd. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, Todd, Todd <laughs> let you guys take it with no shirts, though. We <laughs> only hooked up the big dog. Okay. Break, them, break them in pieces That's true. That's and then hand them. Did y'all ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get cheers. Cheers, cheers, to for, Hannah. cheers to Hannah. Hannah, thank cheers. you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Put it all in your mouth, Ace. Mm. You gotta eat the whole thing. I'm good. These are bomb. Holy hell. Mm. Holy crap. <laughs> These are freaking spicy. No, they're not. Good. They're good. Yeah. They're really uh, good. Oh, man. Wait, are why you are you spicy? <laughs> Dude, my mouth is burning. Your mouth is burning? Dude, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah. Do we have the same I'm... cookie? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> are you guys serious? This burns your mouth? Yeah. Dude, my mouth is on fire. What the? <laughs> I mean, I can see like oh no. in there, like, uh... <laughs> dude. <coughs> I'm just kidding. It, it does burn. <laughs> I thought I could toughen it up. Ace, hey, how was the cookie? Good. <laughs> how was the cookie? Super delicious. How was oh, the cookie? Straight up, yeah. How was the cookie? <laughs> Guys, um, I take back what I said. Go follow Unbelievables. Go and follow him right now. Hannah, Wait, dude, that was jacked up. Hannah, I told you I was going to do it for you Ooh. because he's the one that I'll bid you for the isopods. Remember? Oh my. That makes sense. I told sense. you I was going to get it back for you. So this was it. Jeez, that's hot, man. Oh my gosh, but hold on. Tina, could you hold this real quick? Yeah, I mean. No, like, it was um, pretty film good. me so I could. Holy crap, that's hot. Not that bad. It's bad. It hit my throat. Hannah, thank you very much for this. I yeah, hope it doesn't we, explode on me or something. We appreciate the burn. <clears throat> no. That was cool. Right? How are you guys doing back there? No. <laughs> I got oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, look at this. She uh, hand sculpted yeah, herself, for you, right? For, just for you, too. Oh, wow. That is, oh my oh, gosh, that is so awesome. Hannah, thank you very much. This is going to go in our table. This is so cool. Thank you, thank you. Dude, big shout out to Hannah. And again, Todd from Unbelievables. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Again, before we start to the vlog and I should start showing you guys all the snakes, I have a little bone to pick here on my little niece. When I say little, well, I mean. <laughs> hey, Aubrey, come here. Hey, come on, Look. dude. That's not cool. 11, 8, 19. <laughs> That's what she's little. No, but she, like, I want you guys to tell me the truth. Comment down below. What do you guys think of my uh, my kick? Dude, look at these. These things are Great smooth. Clogs, right? Dude, Those are so these are clogs. Uggs, man. Taylor, why are we making fun of them? They look like clogs, no. bro. Oh my god, they're no. still burning me. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get to the clutches, the cool ball python clutches, the very super expensive they're clutches. Really nice. So real quick, you guys, <laughs> when, when we ate those cookies, you saw Tina was trying to say it wasn't too bad. Turtle, was it bad? I lied, Hannah. You jacked me up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm cramping. I swear. I went right upstairs to get the. If pencil. you guys seen <laughs> next Friday when he's on the freeway when you ate that burrito. Mister, I gotta go help my son. Let me over, please. Let me over. I gotta help myself too. I got a burning in my stomach. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh. That's exactly what just happened to her. I'm not even lying. <laughs> and don't and even go in the bathroom. Don't. The funny thing is, she was like, she was like, oh, it's not that bad. She's like, I lied. She's been like just hurting. So I just want to tell you guys, it, it was hot. It, it was, was super hot. It got my throat and then it was over. All of us were hurting. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, guys. So again, this is going to be a little business talk. Not like crazy. But the reason why I say that is because I said on the title, one of my most expensive ball python clutches. And you guys are going to see why. Um, Again, it's some investment stakes that I did. And definitely, man, this one on the sex ratio and on the combo.
combos completely, completely paid off. So I'm gonna give the camera to Turtle and then I'm gonna show you guys the clutch. Okay, so this clutch, um, the pairing was a sunset bred to a pastel Batman. So everything's gonna be a double head sunset clown. So you guys already know, I already hit some sunset clowns. So let me just show you everything here, head sunset stuff, double head sunset, uh, albino, double head sunset clowns, double head sunset albinos, and some head sunset stuff that I'm holding back. That whole rack, mine. I'm just playing, not all of it, but a lot of it is. So this one right here that I did, I mean, as far as sex ratio and combos is insane. So here's the clutch right here. All of these little babies, check this out, man. And as you guys can see, we have some spot nose leopard, uh, some pastel spot nose leopard double heads. You guys know already that I'm trying to hit the Batman Sunset, I'm hoping. But, half of these little guys just got purchased. So, there's gonna be someone else that's gonna be uh, climbing that same rope with me. I'm not gonna say who purchased them, but yeah, half of these babies are completely already gone. Well, not gone, they're like here still, but they will be gone next week. So, all right, let's start off with these little guys right here. So right here we have a um, spot nose leopard, double hat. And right here we have two leopards, Double heads. Then we have some. I'm gonna say it's a pastel lip. Ah, uh, they're both pastel spot nose leopard double heads. Here's another one. I mean, it has to be, right? It's gotta. Yeah, it's gotta be. Because this right here is a pastel leopard double head. Then we have a another spot nose leopard double head. Then we have just a regular spot nose double head. Check this out. No normals whatsoever, guys. And the sex ratio, there was nine eggs, there was only three males, and the rest are females. How insane is that? But this again, guys, is another, another crazy, crazy clutch, and one of my most expensive clutches I have done so far. And when it comes to the business side of it, remember I told you guys last time what some of those babies were worth. Now, half of these, like I told you, are already gone. So if we were to put a number on them, I mean, definitely just this clutch alone pays for the mail that I bought, which was a sunset, and the pastel Batman clown. I mean, completely just took care of them with no problem. So again, it's really worth it when you invest in these snakes because if the odd gods are on your favor, dude, let me tell you, man, it's in your favor. And now I still have the other ones that have already sold and I still have about four or five more pairings that I'm doing as well. And the mail's still going. I mean, guys, it's insane. I'm telling you guys. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm not saying it's just to like brag, but I'm telling you guys. And you guys know as, you know, as a new breeder, I'm telling you guys, man, if you have the confidence, invest in these animals wisely and trust me, the payout would be amazing. I'm going to start trying to get back on this. I know a lot of you guys comment. You guys do want to know more about the business side of this, which I promise you I'm going to get on there. I've just been so, so busy with all that's going on with this room change with the turtle and everything i mean it's crazy i'll touch on it more i'll touch up on it more but let me show you guys some other clutches because we're going to start separating these and putting them on their own little um tubs and then you know put the ones that are going to get shipped out oh i wish i could say the person's name but i can't so all right so the turtle wants to show off these bad boys you look cool with your hair like that by the way turtle so this is another really cool clutch right here but i'm gonna just have tina explain the combos on this and what was the pairing <laughs> again you just like putting me on the spot it's checked yeah, up bro okay so this is our blackhead clutch and blackhead to what um blackhead to um albino oh dang right? i never knew we did that pairing oh i don't know that <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so the pairing on this one was a, a blackhead leopard head pied to a cinnamon albino pie so um, real quick i'm going to show you guys the three that are the same that are very very beautiful very very beautiful these things are amazing these are and so pretty. one of them just uh sold uh, michael castillo from texas another uh texas cowboy i mean a dallas cowboy fan so Big props and shout out to him. But right here we have some blackhead leopard cinnamon double hat albino pies. And look at this. I don't know if it's picking up the red on them. But man, these things are beautiful. Put them on the put them on the table, tortoise. And what I'll do is actually I'll post a picture on them as well. It's on my Facebook currently right now. And then we have these two little guys right here. And these right here are cinnamon pies head albinos. Poss Leopards, and then we hit this beauty right here is a Blackhead Poss Leopard um, head albino as well. Look at that. So we got one visual blackhead, but man, these other three dark ones are freaking beautiful. I mean, we've been killing it over here, and again, we're so blessed. All right, and this next clutch I'm going to show you guys, I only had three eggs out of it, but it was a cypress yellow belly to a highway 
female. And I was hoping to get a highway cypress. It would have been really cool, but I can't be mad at the odds. Right here we have two female cypress, either a yellow belly or gravels. Definitely holding one of these back. The other one will be up for sale. But again, I told you, I can't be mad at the odds, man. These little things are beautiful. And this clutch actually came from one of the males that we actually produced beginning of this year. So kind of crazy. I'm telling you the power feeding does work. And then we have this little ivory, which is kind of tripping me out a little bit. I wonder if it could possibly be cypress. I mean, I don't know if it's picking it up, but I mean, it's a little darker than usual. There's a lot more pattern. I mean, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. And you guys let me know what you guys think. Definitely has some crazy pattern going on back here. I mean, it'd be pretty cool to find out. But yeah, but I'm thinking it could possibly be uh, cypress ivory. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you guys seen one before and go from there. It could just be a straight up ivory. And we still have more clutches out there. They still haven't shed, but the actual um, scaleuses that we had had finally all shed out. And look at these. I'll start off with all the scaleless ones first. These things are so cool, man. I can't get enough of them. This banana one just came out freaking amazing. Hopefully the color picks up. I mean, the camera picks up its color. <laughs> I'll post a picture of it right now. One that I wanted to show you guys that I really, really like is this bumblebee scaleless head. And again, I'm gonna have to post a picture on it because I don't know how to really use a camera, but it's so beautiful, man. I'm definitely keeping this one back just cause I really, really like it. And it doesn't have no head wobble whatsoever. Maybe the scaleless had kind of fixed it or something. Maybe it was like, you know, evolved yeah. it. Like Ooh. how I did that right there. Yeah, it let did. me sex this thing real quick. And it's a male. But this one is going to be a pet right here. Like I said, I really, really like it. And that, you know, goes to show you guys how the scaleless actually influences the pattern and the color of the snakes alone. So you definitely don't always have to shoot for the scaleless snakes like these. But, I mean, I'd go for them just because they look cool. But if you don't, at least you know the scaleless is going to make your snake really, really pretty. And take the head wobble away. Don't, don't quote me on that. That's just me joking around. But yeah, <laughs> everyone else shed out pretty good. The only one that hasn't shed, the spider scaleless. But he's due to shed any day now. He is so cool, man. I love the pattern. I love the spider gene, man. It is so awesome. I agree. All it's right. really cool. Let's put these babies away. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this vlog. So I wanna tell you guys real quick, from here on out to the end of the year, we are doing free shipping on any snake whatsoever. Any packages, you can add as much as you want. Again, big shout out to Superior Shipping Supplies for helping us out with this. But again, guys, no shipping charge whatsoever on any snakes. We're gonna be putting a lot more snakes up for sale. And we're also gonna do a separate Instagram. It's gonna be kind of like an AEP shop. A lot of you guys keep on messaging me, and I know it's kind of hard. Just email Turtle, and you guys email my brother. So we're gonna do a straight <laughs> AEP shop where we're gonna post snakes that are gonna be available. We're gonna have shirts that are gonna be available and just other cool stuff on there. So hopefully we can get this Instagram done in a few days and by the time this vlog comes up, it's already gonna be up there, right? Uh, Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. And also we are getting our website completed. Yes, we are. So, <laughs> so that's gonna be another way to reach out to us and the link will be in the description when we, Look right here. we finish it. Look right here. Oh, that's right, sorry. You were looking over there. I do that. Yeah. I found vlogger skiller. Such a noob. <laughs> <laughs> you are. And again, guys, a big shout out to Todd from Unbelievables. Do you guys remember that song? It's Yo, unbelievable. unbelievable. Oh, my um, back in the day songs. But yeah, Todd's a good guy. But guys, as always, appreciate all the support. Till next time. Deuces. Deuce.